Hi everyone, from this video, I'm going to be jumping into the topic of window manipulation through AutoHotKey. And because this topic has a lot of grounds to cover, I'm going to break this topic down into several parts. The first part is going to be about how to identify your target window in various ways. And this is what I'm going to cover in the later part of this video. The first part will also include window command settings, which allow you to apply some settings that will affect your windowing commands in your auto hockey scripts. Part two will be about how to get information from your target window. Part three is going to be about how to take actions and what kind of actions you can take on the target windows you identify from above. Part four is going to be about grouping windows into different groups and take group actions or take individual actions on individual windows within those different groups. Part five is going to be about how to apply conditions using window statuses. So whether a window is active or whether a uh, window is existent or not, you take different actions using these commands. And part six is going to be about using window directives. Window directives are the ones that start with hashtags like that. And this is useful in creating context sensitive hotkeys and hot strings for your use. And the last part, the bonus part, is going to be a series of a demo of useful scripts that I have written or I found online, which you may also find useful. And these scripts will be using window commands a lot. So in today's video, like I said, I'm going to be talking about how to identify your target windows. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. If you want to use the windowing commands in AutoArchy to manipulate them, you need to use the win title and win text parameter in order to identify the target window that you want to manipulate. Your win title is the parameter that most people use. Win text is also another way of being able to identify a window going by the text that exists in the window but this isn't widely used though i'm going to show you how win text can be used to identify a window so if you go to any of the documentation on auto key about windowing commands such as this one where you have the win activate command you will see in the syntax for the command win title and win text win title documentation is right here in this url and in here is a table listing out all the ways in which you can identify a window. So I'm going to first start off with the title. Title is basically the title of the window. So for example, if I launch my notepad, the notepad is going to have a window that looks like this, untitled-notepad. Visual Studio Code is going to have that kind of title that you can see up here. These titles can be identified if you go to Start and Launch Windows Spy. And if you activate any of the windows, then the first line in the first box will be the title of the window like that. So if I use the WinActivate command, provide the window title of this value, then this is going to activate the matching window going by the title like that. Now notice how if you change, say, for example, capital letter N to small letter N, which is not an exact case match with the actual notepad title, this is not going to work because this method is case sensitive. So if you want to make this case insensitive, you have to use what's called regex when title match mode. And that's something I'm going to cover in my next video. And a refers to the active window. So I've got an example of using a A in the win title. So this win get title command grabs the title of the win title, which I have put in an A4. And that's going to grab the title of the active window, which is going to be that title. So if I go ahead and run this, then I'm going to get that message box that displays the title of this title of the Visual Studio code. AutoArchy class refers to the window class. A window class is a set of attributes that the system uses as a template to create a window. Um, in most cases, you're going to have different classes for, across different different windows. For example, if you take Notepad, for example, you've got AutoArchy class, Notepad, and 
Visual Studio Code, for example, will have Chrome widget win. But notice how if you open up your Chrome, your Chrome is also going to have Chrome widget win because Visual Studio Code is based off of Chrome structure. And another one that uses the Chrome structure is Microsoft Edge that uses the window widget win autohaki class like that. So this it in most cases works really well, but if you have multiple applications that share the same class name, then this isn't the best way uh, to identify the window that you want. But here it is. Autohaki exe refers to the process name or the process path. So you can either provide the, the entire path to the process or you can just provide the process name preceded by autoarchy underscore exe. And this can also be found if you go to uh, Windows Spy. This is the process name that you can use. And for Google Chrome, for example, autoarchy underscore exe, chrome.exe is the process name for that. So instead of using the class, you could use the Chrome exe in order to pick Google Chrome as opposed to Visual Studio Code, for example, or Edge. So that's uh, a way to identify the window by using the process or the process name and or process path. And AutoArchy ID that you see right here is a unique ID or HWND. HWND stands for Handle to Window and it's basically a unique ID given to any window. So I've got here an example to show you that gives you the handle to the window of the active window after two seconds has passed and that will be displayed in a message box and will be copied into my clipboard. So I'll go ahead and run this and quickly activate the notepad window and I'll get a message box that will display the handle to the window to this notepad window, which is this one. This is in hex code, so it looks a little funny, um, but that is copied into my clipboard. So if I paste, then I get that value out. And I can now use this ID to say when activate autoarchy underscore ID and paste that in. And if I go ahead and run it, then that's going to successfully identify the matching window going by the unique ID. So this is a way uh, to identify a window, a particular window that you want to identify as opposed to identifying a window out of a group of windows such as the Chrome executable. And this isn't something that you can find in the Windows Spies. So you've got to use the Winget commands as you have seen just now, right here, in order to get the handle to the window of the window you want. Autoarchy PID refers to the process ID. Uh, this can also be found from Windows Spy, which you can find here. PID or process ID has a number like that, which represents the ID of a specific process. So this notepad will have a process ID of 1748. But if I launched another notepad, that notepad is going to have a different process ID as you can see here. So this is another way of differentiating across uh, windows that belong in the same group, notepad.exe group or autoarchy class notepad. You can use the process ID to differentiate them. I can feed that number into my process ID right here and run it to activate the notepad of my choice or any other window by the process ID. And if you don't put anything in there, so all empty means last found window, uh, which means I've got an example right here, which opens up an instance of notepad and win wait command is a command that waits until a window exists and it's going to wait until the win notepad process exists. And once it identify a notepad process, then it's going to maximize it. And as you can see, I haven't provided any values in any other parameters within this win maximize command. And that means it's going to refer to the window that is identified by the win wait command. So if I go ahead and run it, I'm going to launch that notepad and then notepad is going to be maximized like that. So this feature 
is used across usually uh, win exist function win activate win active function win wake active win wake non active or win wake commands you're also able to narrow down your search for your windows by providing multiple criteria for searching for your window and what I mean by that is if I opened up my notepad and I'm also gonna launch paint and save this file as untitled notepad which matches the title of my notepad window uh, but it's gonna have .png paint at the end so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the title match mode to 2 which is going to allow my script to match based on partial matches of the win title so this will allow when I provide a win title of untitled notepad to match that even though this is not an exact match because untitled dash notepad is still inside the title of this paint window and so if I go ahead and run it then it's going to activate the paint window because that was the last active window and that was a match but if you wanted to in this situation activate this one instead then what you can do is you can still provide the same window title but narrow it down by providing also the class name of notepad in order to narrow it down to search just within the notepad classes so right now in this situation if I go ahead and run it then we're going to have that notepad window activated so this is something that you can use to differentiate for example between the Chrome window and the Visual Studio code when and if you want to use the class name for identifying your window you could use the process name in order to find out the uh, or in order to identify the chrome window so you can use the chrome.exe but for whatever reason if you wanted to use chrome.widgetwin the class name of the window then you can provide that here as well as add in a dash google chrome which you can find in the end of any chrome window in this manner so this is going to activate the chrome window instead of the visual studio code all right so i will move on to win text and wrap up the video win text is basically another way of identifying windows and win win text parameter can be usually found right after the win title parameter and win text is basically a text that exists inside any window that you want to identify so to give you an example of what a text that exists a window might look like i'm going to use my temporary scripts folder that you see here and i have given the win title for this win get text command temporary scripts auto -archi class cabinet w class which represents the windows explorer like that and so this is going to grab this window and grab all the texts that exist inside this window and have that displayed in my message box like that so in my message box i've got this kind of win texts available so i can use this for example i can use the temporary scripts which is right down here in order to identify this window so if i go ahead and run this then it's going to activate the folder that has temporary scripts win inside its inside one of its win texts and i can also change this to for example shell view which is right down here if i run it then it's still going to be able to identify that window and let's say windows spy for example this time i'll get the texts that are inside the windows spy window and if i run this then this is all the text that i'm gonna get so as you can see this has a familiar setup as the boxes that you see on the right hand side in the windows spy window so you've got all these values so these are the texts inside the windows spy window and i can use one of these so for example follow mouse i can do for example win activate a window 
that has win text follow mouse. And if I go ahead and run it, then it's gonna find out that win spy has that follow mouse text inside its window and therefore it's activated it. So if you missed it, then I'll run it again. So that just activated my window spy like that. Alright, this is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.